it's Andrew Greif of the Oregonian with Tyson Alger of the Oregonian. Uh, Oregon is victorious, 45-20 to 20 against the Washington Huskies. That's 11 in a row. Uh, a lot of things went well for Oregon tonight, seemingly from the very beginning. They ran the ball well. They forced turnovers. Both of those were big keys because the Huskies uh, had only one turnover coming into the game. The Ducks got a fumble and an interception. Royce Freeman took over 169 yards. Uh, the receivers also kind of an overlooked tandem tonight, Darren Carrington and Dwayne Sanford, though. I think that uh, you're not going to see their names a whole lot tomorrow, but they deserve a lot of credit. Yeah, definitely, especially with uh, Keenan Lowe didn't play today. He, he dressed for warm-ups, but he kind of spent the whole time standing on the sideline with uh, Scott Frost there. But uh, Carrington was the one that a lot of the coaches were talking about afterwards. You know, Stanford did have probably the other than Byron Marshall's juke move, probably the play of the game with that catch out over there in the end zone. Yeah. But with Carrington, he's a he's a young player who has a lot of talent. But you know, Helford said he did a lot of growing up over the last two weeks. He told me he, he was a little bit of frust he was a little frustrated over the last couple of weeks with kind of his not he wasn't having like a front and center role in the passing game. Today he had a great game. He made an incredible catch where he tucked both toes in before the sideline at the yeah. two yard line. It was a real impressive game for him and just Oregon's receivers overall, considering the fact that their top three wide receivers they had in this game were two redshirt freshmen mm -hmm. and a redshirt sophomore. I mean, yeah. that, that's a pretty young young receiving core for a Pac-12 Yeah, team. The Ducks defense, they went about uh, 74 plays around the field. That's a pretty good amount, nothing mind-blowing. I think a lot of teams are going to run a whole lot more tempo at them. Uh, but they out of just over 300 yards. It's a pretty good per play clip. Certainly better than they've been in weeks past, and defense has seemingly been a big um, a point of concern. Offensive line, another big point of concern in weeks past. Yet they allowed two sacks, but they played great, I thought, overall. Yeah. Even when Hamani Stevens left the left guard, he had to get his right ankle taped in the, in the first quarter. Uh, the, two plays later, they ran right to that left side again, even though he wasn't there, and got a touchdown. It just showed you the confidence they had in this line, and most importantly, in Royce Freeman. Well, and I think that's a lot of. I think a lot of people will look and be like, "Oh, they got Marcus got sacked again this week." But it was only two sacks. On the running plays, they just looked phenomenal. The line on that on that Freeman thirty-seven yard touchdown run where Hirono yeah. Scrossu pancaked the guy. Yeah. It was just they were dominant today. It was a pretty special performance. They are now bowl eligible, bowl eligible <laughs> for Oregon. Six wins, and three and one in the Pac-12. Some quick stats for you. Uh, Ducks had 554 yards of offense, 380 at halftime when it was a 28 to 6 lead, uh, 218 yards rushing, only 4.4 per rush. And Mark Helfords kind of wanted that to be higher, but uh, he's not going to argue with four touchdowns by Freeman, yeah. and he had a fifth negated by a holding penalty. Uh, last week for me was just Ducks held Washington to 9 of 18 on third downs. They kind of gave up a lot of those, and I, I say held, but they really gave up some. That, that seems to be, if there's one concern for me going forward, third down, they still seem a little iffy on those. Yeah, definitely. And, and you did see also a lot, especially in the first quarter of that, Washington moved the ball pretty well up until maybe about like the 40-yard line or so, and then you kind of got like that bend but don't break sort of style thing. It would force a field goal. Um, but I'm sure they would like to not give up that like so easy plays at the start of the drives. Yeah. And oh, by the way, Marcus Mario, senior, uh, junior quarterback, 10,055 career total offense yards tonight. He reached that 10,000 yard plateau. Uh, Scott Frost, who's the offense coordinator, said, we'd like to clone him and keep him around before he leaves. I think a whole lot of people here would too. He's pretty good, and so apparently is this Ducks team.